Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School. What I'm going to show you today is a simple machine. It's a vertical craning device that you can use to move or lift heavy weight using a lever to gain mechanical advantage over a dead weight. We've got a log laying underneath the tripod here that probably only weighs, I don't know, somewhere around 100 pounds, something like that. It's a piece of cherry that is about 10, 12 inches in diameter and it's frozen. So it's a pretty heavy piece of wood. And we're going to use a tripod over top of this and a simple craning technique to gain mechanical advantage. Now, you can use rope for this. I'm using mule tape in this example, which is something that Morse Kahansky is very fond of. It's lighter weight than rope and has a very high tensile strength. I wouldn't trust it to repel off of it, but for applications of things like this, binding, flip-flop winches, pulling loads and things, I would probably trust it for that up to its tensile strength. Again, this is 2,500 pound tensile strength, and I'm not planning to lift anything near that amount of weight with it. But it is a lightweight cordage that you can carry. A hundred foot of it doesn't weigh very much and doesn't take up a lot of room in your pack. And it has lots of applications like the one I'm going to show you today. So this application can be transferred to lots and lots of things. We've built a tripod over this log because we didn't have any overhead branches to throw our rope or cordage over top of. We don't have any pulleys, any block and tackles or anything like that. So we're going to use loops in the rope to gain mechanical advantage with a lever. I'm going to walk you through how to put this together in a few minutes, but we've got basically two butterfly loops about three and a half feet apart. That length or that distance between those two butterfly knots is going to be the amount that you're going to be able to lift this up and down. So in an application where you needed to maybe lift a log up to cut it so that you had one end of it hanging so when you cut it off it falls free and you're not burying your saw blade into the mud or the dirt. Or maybe you had a log that had fallen onto something or onto a trail that you needed to move and you didn't have the means to cut it but you needed to lift it up to move it or swing it. You could do the same thing with this. There's lots and lots of applications for this all the way up to building cabins. So it's a very good little machine to learn and it's very simple to understand. You only really need to know one specific knot which is the butterfly knot to use this and you could use prussic loops on this but I wouldn't trust them near as far as I would trust just a butterfly loop tied into, tied into my line. So what we'll do is we'll take these two loops and we've got a lever here that is about eight feet long and it's a pretty stout piece of lumber here. It's not green by any means. It was cut last year but it's not something that's rotted so much it's going to break. I'm going to be able to get good mechanical advantage without worrying about this thing bending or breaking under the load that I'm trying to pick up. And it'll have to match. You'll have to match things to the load that you're trying to maneuver. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come in through the first loop and go down and then come into the second loop like this. And then we will simply turn this against itself and pull down on this lever and that will pick the load up off the ground like this. We can now put that load or swing that load anywhere we need to in this general area or we could just lift it up to put something underneath it where we're needing to roll it and move it or where we wanting to cut it or something like that. So this is a very good easy system to use for this purpose. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put this together and how this works and remember you know I'm not using a lot of downward strength to move this and I'm sure that this log weighs a little over a hundred pounds. When we're done we just pull these out and all of these knots should come undone very easily from this mule tape if we tied the right knots. One of the things that I kind of like about this mule tape is it's nylon and it's kind of slick so it doesn't tend to bind against itself when you put knots in it, they come undone fairly easily depending on the knot you're using. And if you're using slip type knots, they come undone very, very easily. Okay, there's a couple different ways that you can tie these butterfly knots. The first one is you can just take a loop in the line. So now I have both ends of my line going in two directions and I have a loop crossed over in the line here. If I cross that loop over again and I make like a figure eight right here. Then I'm going to take this and put it all the way over the top of these two. So this 
outside loop is going to come over these two cross lines underneath and pull through. And when I gather this up and tighten this all up tight, it'll kind of look like a necktie from the back side like you would put around your shirt. It's going to have a couple V's coming off of it and it'll look like a Windsor knot looking thing right here in the front. And again, these knots are pretty easy to get undone because this stuff's pretty slick, it doesn't bind against itself very well. So again, I put a loop in the line here like this. I came in and put a second loop in the same line or in the same loop. So now I have a figure eight here. I bring this loop over the top of the two where they cross and back underneath. And when I pull that through, it's gonna give me those two wings right there of the butterfly just like that and again it looks like a tie knot on this side so if you're going to tie this knot on a running line or a hanging line what I like to do is take it and lay it over my hand so this is my hanging portion and I wrap it around my hand two times just like that then I'll take this and bring it all the way over so the most outside toward my fingertips I bring all the way over and I hold it with my thumb then I bring the middle one all the way over and underneath and pull it like this. And I'm going to get that same knot when I tighten all this stuff down. It's going to give me that same butterfly type knot with the two wings. And that Windsor looking knot on the front. And you'll have to dress the knot up a little bit. To really be able to see it but you'll have two wings on the back side and you'll have that Windsor cuff on the front and again it comes undone pretty easy there's several ways to tie butterfly knots from butterflies to alpine butterflies and all that stuff but if I've got a hanging line this works pretty good over once over twice bring that to the inside bring this all the way over and under just like that and pull the whole thing tight just like that. Spread that out and you get those butterfly wings and you got that Windsor knot on the front side. That works pretty well. So what we did with this log was first, get this knot all the way out of here. You may have to dig your way under that log or roll it with a stick or whatever the case may be to get something underneath it like a line. And once you get a line in there, then you can pull it through. And all I did with this was, I just came in here and tied a simple, like a slippery hitch, where I came in here, tied it in, came through here, and tied a slip in it so I could pull it out. But it will be a slipping knot that will bind on itself down to the log. When I want it out, all I have to do is pull it and it comes undone. Just like that. Okay, that was A. Then I tied my first butterfly knot in my line. Now at the top, I just dropped it through the center of the tripod, pulled it fairly taut, wrapped it around once here, wove it in once here, just like this. Came around this one more time over the top of my tripod. And then just use these two crossing this line as another hitch and just dropped it over the loop and pulled it down tight like that that should be very simple so once you've got your loops in there you're secure all you need to do is feed this lever through your loops just like this turn it sideways and lever it down to pick up whatever you're trying to move One thing that's important to understand with this system is, just like any lever, the longer the lever is, the better your mechanical advantage. If I get up here closer to this tripod and try to lift this load, I gotta put a lot of weight on it to get it off the ground. But if I come out here toward the end, I can lift that load with one arm. And two hands, it's real easy. But once you get in here, 
you got to put a lot of weight on that thing to get it off the ground. So your mechanical advantage comes from the lever being longer. So remember that if you're setting up a system like this. The beauty of this system, again, is how quick it is to use and get it up and down and recover your cordage.